Hi there, welcome to Roll. Uh, Tristan's my name, and in this video, I'm just going to show you the uh, fabulous zero integration with Roll and how that works. Um, it's uh, for those users that are using zero as your accounts uh, system in your business. Um, you're going to really love this feature. It makes invoicing a breeze. Uh, there's no reason that uh, you need to go and log into zero at all uh, to generate invoices and send them off to your clients. It all gets handled within Roll. And effectively, what happens is any invoices that you create within Roll, uh, Zero is updated automatically. And when uh, when payments come in from your clients and Zero gets reconciled, that information also flows back into Roll, so that you can see uh, that uh, an invoice has been paid. So effectively, there's no reason why you need to go to go to Zero at all for invoice creation and management. So let's have a quick look at how it works. Um, I've set up a quick job here, which is for a company called 96 Black. Uh, it is brand guidelines work and uh, with a total value of $3,000. If I drill in there, um, I can see I've got 17 hours of time uh, already logged against this job. And uh, what I want to do is um, I actually want to invoice that now. So um, let's go to the time. Uh, area and have a little, little bit more of a look at that. Um, have a quick check, uh, make sure the time records are okay. And Roll's got a fabulous feature which is um, going to save a lot of people a lot of time. But uh, you can actually, with one click of a button, send any unbilled time entries uh, through to an invoice. So in, in this case, we want to do that here. So what I want to do is come down here and go invoice all unbilled time. Boom. And we go into the invoices section of Roll, and it creates a invoice for us, which is a draft at the moment. And here are all those time records that we had uh, associated with the project. So uh, fabulous, saves a heap of time. What I need to do now is just go through and just check that everything's okay before I send it out to the client. 96 Black Limited, uh, brand guidelines. And let's add a quick description. Brand guidelines work. And check uh, invoice date, uh, the due date, we're going to set it at 20th of May, that's fine. And here are the time entries. Now the only thing I have to do here is uh, choose the um, GL account code that it needs to go to. And this, all of this is populated from your Xero account. So in this case I'm going to choose sales because that's what it is. And uh, everything else is looking all pretty good. So from here, I'm ready to actually um, complete the invoice and send it off to the client. So hit the approve and send button. Uh, it's going to going from uh, this account name and uh, email address, and it's going off to um, this person here, add accounts. And I can edit all of this if I need to, but uh, let's keep moving, send, and effectively, that's gone off to the client and what we've seen now is that invoice has now moved out of draft and into a waiting payment. So um, that's effectively saying that it's it's been approved and sent to the client. And you can see here along the status, here's the invoice that we've just created, uh, brand guidelines work and uh, we can see that it's been sent and it's also been synchronized with zero. If it hasn't synced with zero, you'll get notification here. Um, so let's have a look at what that looks like in the back end with zero. And if we go into zero here, um, this is just our main screen with zero, and we can see we've we've currently got two invoices and waiting payment. If we refresh that, it'll go to three. And let's drill into it and have a look. And lo and behold, here's our invoice uh, with invoice number 0051 uh, that we've created, and it's um, also been marked as sent. Now the beautiful thing here is once this gets reconciled, once this invoice gets reconciled and marked as paid in zero, um, roll will automatically update. So this will this will come through and it'll say paid. And if you go into your paid here, you'd be able to see it all in here. Um, so that's effectively um, uh, a, a quick uh, presentation on on how the invoicing works in roll and especially how it works in conjunction with your zero account. 